of there. We're going to make a snack for you tonight. We're actually going to start a series called Sweet and Savory with Avery. Me. Because Avery and I like to get together once a week or so and make some food. And we'd like to share the video with you of how we do this. So tonight... So we have some fresh uh, raspberries and strawberries, Greek peach yogurt, and some graham cracker. And to make these, we're going to use the Voxiki uh, silicone lined muffin tins. We have the regular size and we have the mini size. We're going to experiment with both. And this is actually a frozen treat. We're going to um, put these ingredients together and we're going to put them in the freezer. And we'll show you what they look like later on after they're frozen. So let's come up close and we'll show you how to put it together, okay? Okay, I'm going to start by cutting up the fruit, and Avery's going to work on the graham cracker crust. So I poured a little crumb in um, this cup here so it's easier to contribute throughout the whole pan. And then I'm going to take the spoon and I'm going to make a thin layer on the bottom. This is an easy recipe, wouldn't you say? I agree, it is pretty simple. It's fun to do. So we're going to use a combination of strawberries and raspberries, but first we're going to add a little peach Greek yogurt to this, and then the yogurt will make the graham cracker crumbs stick to it as it freezes. All right, nice. The hardest part's going to be waiting for it to freeze. For the yogurt. So I have the yogurt open, I'm going to just stir it a little bit. And then you just want a thin layer of the yogurt also just to cover um, the graham crackers that you do have down. That's good. And as, as she puts the yogurt in there, I'm going to squish it down with a piece of fruit like that so it makes contact with all the graham crackers. So we're going to take a nice big slice of strawberry on top of that. Good. That way you can even it out with the strawberry. Right. The strawberries and raspberries are beautiful right now. We have a lot of fun cooking on Thursday nights. We do a lot of teamwork too. This <laughs> makes it easy. Both of us. You should see us coming up with the ideas for these. <laughs> we get a lot more ideas than we... <laughs> Very spontaneous ones. Right. We never... Um, we usually come up with something that we never heard of before. <laughs> <laughs> As you know. as you press it just make sure it goes all over the graham crackers then you're sure that that will freeze it smells so good yep it smells sweet and fresh these are a big strawberry so huh
bit more on that one. Okay. Looks good. Ooh, there's even some peach in that one. Yep. Okay, so I think just lightly put a dab of graham cracker crumbs on I'm that. I'm just going to add a little bit more in the cup here. Now these silicone baking cups that we have from Boxiki Kitchen, they're really, <laughs> they're really nice to use because you'll see that after this is uh, frozen, they'll pop right out. Nothing sticks to these. It's really great. And I'm going to start adding another little layer of um, yogurt on top of this. Graham cracker crumbs are a nice way to sweeten your food because it doesn't involve adding all kinds of ingredients. It's just a little sugary cookie in some way. Now at this point we're going to layer it almost to the top because next we're going to add raspberries. And one nice thing about this one is we don't have to um, worry about it baking out or anything because all we're going to do is stick it in the freezer. After the muffin tin is filled all the way to the edges, we're going to add some raspberries. All right, we're going to put three raspberries around the edges and a strawberry in the middle for the larger ones. Now, you could put a piece of strawberry. Yeah. One strawberry, one. That's good. That raspberry. works. We just want to have a combination here of the berries. What's good is that fruit flavor will soak into the yogurt. Yep, the flavors will infuse while they're all together here. You can use whatever kind of fruit you like. You can put peaches in this or blueberries. Dress it up because it's just going to be all good. Do you need some more? I think they might be just a little bit tinier. There we go. So now that we have have some in every cup, we're gonna just lightly press down on this because we want them to freeze in place, not fall off. We're going to chill them in the freezer now about for about four hours. And then we'll come back and show you what they look like when they're all finished. 
Okay, we took them out of the freezer and they're ready to eat. The little ones are ready to eat. The big ones are not quite ready yet. So all you do is pop them out of the silicone cup. <laughs> mm. Yummy. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked the recipe.